guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are diving in and looking at the top five stocks to buy and hold. Now all these stocks, guys, carry so much potential. We got tech stocks, we got all different types, and guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of it, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out when you guys do that. So now let's just jump in into it. All right, so stock number one. Stock number one is a stock that we've talked about a couple of times on the channel. It's Alibaba. Now, the reason why I love Alibaba is because the stock has sold off all the way down to about the price it was in 2014. Now, I know you might be saying, Carter, there's issues with China. Carter, this stock's not good. Carter, Carter this, Carter that. Hey, you can't argue. Since 2014, the cash reserves is up 500%. The revenue is up 800%. So you can't argue with that. Not to mention, They've beaten their earnings on the revenue side. Also, their profit is up 65% in the past year, which is awesome. And yet the stock is still selling off just due to the issues we face overseas. Now, I think looking back in two to five years, we're gonna be wishing and killing killing ourselves if we did not buy the stock. Not not really, don't do that. But you guys know what I mean. This is a great stock, it's very undervalued. We have a ton of analysts that think that this thing's gonna go a heck of a lot higher. So guys, it's just one to maybe throw on your watch list. All right, stock number two. Stock number two for me is Google. Now, I know Google, you know, some people don't like Google, but what can't you argue? You can't argue Google has over a hundred billion dollars in cash. Now what that means is if Google ever goes through a hard time or a recession, they can start pulling from those cash reserves and continue to grow and invest inside the business. For me, anytime Google sells off underneath the hundred dollars, it's an absolute for sale fire sale to buy this stock. Now, yes, I know we face some issues with ad revenue. I know we've seen, you know, YouTube slowing down, but we're in an unstable market right now. We have high inflation. We have high interest rates. Businesses are nervous. They're not wanting to spend money. And that's going to cause just a little bit of a slowdown on their ad conversion. So I think looking back, very similar to Alibaba, I think looking back two to five years, we're going to be wishing we would have bought more Google under these prices. Also, the average analyst price target for Google is about 126 bucks. So that's going to give a return of about almost 30%, which is pretty solid for a stock that's underneath the $100. Now, obviously, Google definitely is a little volatile. So understand that your account may fluctuate a little bit, but let's move on to pick number three. All right, so the next and final one, before we jump into it, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. Subscribe right now. All right. Thank you guys. All right, so stock number three. Stock number three for me is NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA is a computer and graphics card company. Now, the reason why this is so popular and so strong, and I think it's gonna absolutely kill it for the next couple of years, is because we've seen a huge rise in all this software, open AI, you know, chat GBT is the fastest online, you know, site to hit over 100 million users. I'll, outbeating Instagram, Facebook. So I think there's so much demand for that. Now, in order to power these sites, we need NVIDIA. NVIDIA is highly invested in the software, highly invested into computer parts. So I think, are we getting more reliable on computers or less reliable? I think each and every day, we're getting more and more dependent on technology, which NVIDIA falls right into place with that. Most people can't leave their house without their phone. So I think I think that this is going to be a great pick for the next couple of years. I think looking back, very similar to all the other ones, we're going to be wishing we would have bought more at these prices, guys. All right, stock number four. Stock number four for me is Tesla. Now, there is an argument that people say Tesla's overvalued. Hey, I get it. I get maybe you're paying a little premium for this stock. I completely understand. But look at the fundamentals. Look at the revenue. Look at the cash on hand. Look at the net profit margin. They're all up. They've all done a very, very solid job, you know, growing. Now, now look at the market conditions we're in with those high interest rates, that high inflation. So they're actually still performing relatively well given the market conditions we're in right now. So I think once everything cools down in the next couple of years, I think that this thing's gonna be an absolute powerhouse like it was you know, in 2017, 2018, where this thing was historically outperforming the market. Right now, yes, 
Tesla's having some production problems and all that stuff. But I think that's just a short term, short term issue that this company is going to face. You know, look at Ford, look at all these other auto companies. They're not performing as well. Tesla for me is my fantastic pick, leader of the electric auto space. And I think looking back, we're going to be wishing we would have bought more. All right. So the last and final stock that we're going to be covering here is ticker symbol O, also known as Realty Income. I wanted to throw this one in. This is pretty much a REIT. This is a dividend, monthly dividend stock. I wanted to, you know, really capitalize on some dividends, you know, in the next couple of months. Now, ticker symbol O or Realty Income, they go out and buy different real estate properties. And as the tenants pay their lease or rent or mortgage, they they get a little bit of that money. You know, they get that money and then you get it in the form of dividends. So it's a great way to get some appreciation because those home values go up. You also will get some dividends to start compounding your account. Just a great pick to kind of buy and hold and not have to worry about. It's pretty much like investing in the real estate market. Yeah, we'll see some volatility, but it, you know, it's just like investing in stocks. So guys, all these fantastic picks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit that like button and subscribe, and we will see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to stay happy, take care. We'll see you later. Take care, guys.